Hello and welcome to what? No. <sighs> Pretty much, this is just a, a vlog of me. I, I think now is the time I should start explaining a few things to you. Who? What? What happened? You see, my name is Bren Alexander. I am twenty-two. I live. In, I essentially live in my parents' basement, and all I do is make YouTube videos. I'm diagnosed with autism, high functioning, therefore, which means I have Asperger's syndrome, ADHD, or attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, as well as clinical depression. Not a very good combination. So why did I pick the name Tenkage? It comes from kanji. Ten means heaven. Kage means shadow. Heaven's shadow, dark and light. <sighs> Why am I telling you all this? Because it's who I am. I can't help who I am. Autism is not something to laugh at. Autism is not something to mock. Maybe I should rewind a bit. Earlier on in a, in a server, a guy pretty much was just... He pretty much just said, I don't have that, I'm just making it up. Why would I make up that I have something like that? Why would I make up that every day I feel a sense of shame that I am not making my parents proud of me? Why would I make up the fact that I've had to suffer through literally four years of hell before I moved? And if I didn't, I wouldn't be here today. And I don't mean making videos or playing games. I mean in the literal sense. Why do I game? Because... Here in the game world, I'm a hero. I could take up swords, I could take up arms, explore great lands, find great treasure, save people who care. Not in the real world, where I'm looked down upon. This is why I continue to make so many videos. Because someday, I want to be big. I want people to respect me. Respect me for who I am. For everything that I have with me. If you don't like it, if you don't like the fact that you just subs you subscribed to what is essentially a retarded person, you can just leave. And just live with this. This. I may be retarded, but I see the world for what it is. It's a cold and desolate place. You turn your back on someone, you're not helping. For the rest of you, I thank you for following me. I know normally my vlogs usually are more informative, as in what I'm up to, but I figure now is a good time to explain a few things about me. Or why I did this. Growing up, life wasn't easy for me. It was hard. You see, my biological mother couldn't take care of me. My father left her 
And she was pretty young. Early 20s when she had me. She pretty much couldn't raise both me and my brother. So she allowed my, her parents to take care of me. She said it was one of the saddest days of her life. Knowing that she couldn't take care of me because of my hyperactivity. And later discovering I had autism when I was in the fourth grade. My parents, or my grandparents at least, they took care of me. They gave me plenty of stuff to do. They supported me. But they couldn't help me too much when it came to social situations. When I was younger, I couldn't, I just couldn't socialize very well. Sure, elementary on school playgrounds, you know, wasn't too hard. I was actually pretty popular back then because I was the only one who could who memorized the entire all the information on Pokemon and when we did mock Pokemon battles. I knew exactly how to win, and could prove that I won. Favorite combo: bring out Alakazam, Psychic, can kick to can to lower special defense, Psybeam to confuse, switch out, bring out a Snorlax. Likes the body slam. <laughs> Good times. When you're a kid, you don't, you don't bully each other just because of personal reasons. You only make fun of them of the way if they talk dorky, they wear nerdy glasses. And take it from me, I made the mistake of picking nerdy glasses when I was younger. You wear braces. Although, granted, some of my bullies did wear braces, so I didn't have a problem with that when I had my turn. Wear that dorky sweater your grandma knitted for you that one Christmas, and you, you know, you're forced to wear it so you don't make your feel bad. That one, actually, a lot of people could relate to. That one they didn't insult me on. But it's the moment you hit middle school and they see you walking down the hallway the back room of where the special education department is you're labeled a pariah forever no one wanted to converse with me no one wanted to be my friend I was pretty much a social outcast you know what that can do to a kid's psyche to feel alone to feel like everybody's against you you think I would make this stuff up? You think I'd be... I'm ha... You think it's a great thing for me to remember? I'm telling you this because I want you to understand where I'm coming from. My first real game that actually brought me that peace was Banjo-Kazooie. That was one where I felt like I was using my brain as well as my adventurous imagination. When I beat that game as a kid, I felt so happy to know that I did it. I earned it. I felt like a hero. Later on, I started going into RPGs. Naturally, it was Pokemon, but Golden Sun, Tactics Ogre, and the Knight of Lotus. Later, I got a PlayStation 2. I also had an N64, but I decided to also get a GameCube. Which I had fun with Animal Crossing, Smash Brothers, among other titles. But when I got the PlayStation 2, I started to enjoy some of the role-playing games. <sighs> Good times. Going off into faraway lands, saving people, being the hero. But at the same time, it also hurts my psyche. Because then I started to realize something. The world was a cold and desolate place. The real world, at least. Where people are looked down upon just for who they are. For how they look. For all the labels they're given. And people who don't deserve it. But are praised. For 
praise for things they don't even deserve to have. And for the record, I'm referring to people like Paris Hilton or other celebrities who just live off, who mooch off their fortune, move up, mooch off their celebrity status to make themselves think they're gods. Now, I know not all celebrities think like that, but let's face it. Why do you what? Why do you follow celebrities? Ask yourself this. Why would you want to be friends with a celebrity besides the money? Is there anything in his personality you would want? If you answered yes, then congratulations. If you answer no, well, now you're starting to think like me. Autism works this way. My brain was formed differently at birth. I can't change how I think. My mind thinks on a different level. Or rather, a different plane. Think of you looking at a parade. You look at it from one angle, along with everybody else. Me, I'm looking at it from above, uh, above the cityscape on a rooftop. That's how. That's the best way I could describe. <sighs> you know, it's hard to get this off my chest. Life is, you know. This is why I wanted. To do a YouTube channel. Because I knew that my. Incentric nature could. Garner some views. There's still people out there. Who, who just think I'm weird. You know. I know I'm weird. But it still hurts to be called that. To be called retarded. To be called. Different. To be called a freak. I'm going to go upload this video, and then I'm going to go get two big bottles of Nesquik chocolate milk I save for an occasion like this. Every sip tastes like nostalgia. This won't slow down any of the videos I'm going to make, I'm going to upload. <sighs> but maybe this will give you a little more context into me. If you ever want to chat with me, feel free to send me a message. I'm always willing to answer questions or chat, whatever. I know this. I'm proud of who I am. That still doesn't mean you have to rub it in. You don't have to remind me of who I am. Every time I, you tell me you meet me. Just think about that, okay?